what's up my people how that day waiting they happen waiting this up guys here we have a news about yemi aladi so they said yemi aladi is pregnant that's what this liberian blogger said it took yemi aladi two weeks to react to this this guy posted this two weeks ago you know i actually saw the post and i was like hmm i doubt that and i just intentionally ignored the post but yemi aladi finally reacted to that now what is the the info they said that yemi aladi the nigerian singer is pregnant he's pregnant for the president of togo ah uh, currently pregnant for the president of the republic of togo <laughs> as we all know yemi aladi is a multi-hit maker in the nigerian music industry and she has been dating the Togo president, Esozina Ayadima, since 2017. There were a lot of controversial guys. But four days ago, it was confirmed that the multi-hit maker and Nigerian singer, Yami Aledi, is carrying a child for the Togolese president. The Togolese president is already married to five wives. So he's also planning to get married to Yami Aledi as their sixth wife women are not against polygamy they just don't want it with a broke man as we all know jackie apia got married to the labyrinth president and now it's yami aladi well yami aladi says here reacting to that with a pregnancy emoji uh, and the laugh emoji and you can see here she says the ment is different this january um if you know like your job a big pretend small when you see customers now this january people they really meant um that is um from yemi alade you know that's getting uh, a lot of traction than she expected so she quickly attacked that like i'm not just going to let this slide let this liberian blogger you know take advantage of me no to get traction or something people were still like a big a big just talk straight here you get belle abi you know get belle because you know they talk straight here um guys let me know what you think <laughs> about that in the comment section below uh someone says only time will tell because informations like this we just have to fold our hands and watch it <laughs> moving on to the next one here we have the uh, news about um dark october so issues they happen now on that film you know linda ikeji this is going to be her first film and wahala don't know already they start on top of that film they said parents of the alu four victims ask linda ikeji and netflix to suspend the premiere of the movie dark october the family of the slain uh, students said they were not consulted before the shooting of the movie which has been scheduled for premiere on february Theory. So, uh, why wouldn't Linda KG reach out? I mean, that was really, really a, a dark October. Linda KG could have at least reached out to the to the family. According to the parents, they said this will bring back unpleasant memories they had managed to bury. So, according to report, they said the movie. The family said the movie has reawakened the already doused trauma caused by the tragic killing of their children. Uh, the statement says the attention of the four bereaved families of the ill-fated Alu for incident have been drawn to a widely advertised movie titled Dark October, which was produced by a known blogger by the name Linda KG, as stated therein. For the records, and sadly so, Linda KG produced the movie without seeking the consent of the affected families and parents of the unforgettable Alu for victims. The question uh, to Linda Ikeji, can you cry more than the bereaved or do you not have some conscience and humanity in you as a parent that you have become? I have been instructed in writing through my organization, the Integrity Friends um, for Truth and Peace Initiative uh, by the four affected families. That is the parents of late uh, Lloyd uh, Chiadika Ugona Tekena to represent them and ensure that justice is done in this matter this is to the effect that linda ikeji acted both um, of her own volition and a folic of her own as she failed refused and neglected to seek the consent of the affected and families like parents of these boys whose names 
and the story of the Alu 4 incident form the entire essence of the movie okay guys that is it moving on to the next one here we have uh doing big brother ninja uh from big brother ninja house me to doing shits lucky big boys now, this podcast is quite interesting honestly um but guys this is this has become a trend same people who usually you know attack bloggers i mean i'm sure you know these people don't like bloggers now it's like everybody is now becoming bloggers themselves like so now they are creating podcasts and their podcasts are beginning to sound like uh, the regular bloggers in Nigeria. You know, I'm just I'm just saying. Again, boys, in boys Nigeria, one, also packaging. Packaging. They are opening leg. leg. They are opening leg. Yes, they are opening leg. Women package more than yes, women. Yes, they are packaging the more than women. Lucky boys, they don't yes. have jack shit. Yes, living in the, the only thing they have where it's is flooding. that thing that they are wearing. Even that thing they are wearing might not even be theirs. <laughs> they are rotating it. They don't get but they, they package Sorry. because they are looking for their next client they that would cars. also they have cars just... but not houses <laughs> they, they, they have cars that three of them and are rotating one inside. car like, three they of must. them are rotating one car and at the end of the day I don't blame them they don't go job they don't do they don't make money so they are thinking <laughs> girls, what girls, is girls. the way forward and the truth is this packaging brings you something whether you want to lie or you want to be honest to yourself packaging no, no, brings no, you no, something we're not, we're not. let's move straight to the next one speaking about cheating here uh, we've got portable so portable is angry I mean, Portable cheated on his wife, right? Got another girl pregnant. And he's angry now that the same girl has been cheating on him. So why even they cheat here? I don't even understand. He even shared the, you know, their chat, their chat on social media. I look at their, the chat between um, my so-called baby mama and this person. Portable's got a wife, yet went outside, slept with another lady, you know cheating on his wife obviously and now he's angry because the same thing <laughs> wow it's it's just it's just crazy here he says man put you for house you still they promise another man wala wala you never read you um you they double dates and you still they plan wedding okay i respect women uh i respect women fear who no fear women Moving on to the next one, guys, I just would like to chip this in. So they said uh, this place, there's a, a food seller, okay, there's a food seller. I said a food seller and all uh, apprentices are ghosts. They quickly disappear after someone rec recognized them. They said, um, I don't know if you have heard of a trending news in a larger area of Ayobo, Lagos. They sell um, Amala at uh, along um, Alaja, Magida Road, Ayobo, Ekpaja lagos i think things like this a lot of people might not believe i don't even know but i think these things like this happen there was a story you know my mom told me back then no you know that our mother sister yes our mother sister when she was about to get married right our own mother was sent to that village but the thing is not like our mother was sent to that village to verify that guy's identity like who he is if he's a good person because that's how they do back then you know they really want to know the family of that guy and the fact that they've been asking this guy where did you come from and stuff like that and he refused to talk it's not like he wouldn't talk but he wouldn't really open up you know when you know that somebody is running away from a question so my mom my mom's mother um on her way to um ibadan so they said oh, this man came from he's from ibadan um he said he already told me that he's from this place so so place you know mentioned the household so my my mom's uh mother you know went there so that was part of our mission as well apart from the personal one that she's got in mind so when she got there now she went to the house and mentioned the guy's name everything and they said they took him they took her to the grave they said look at the man's that the man that you're talking about look at the grave here and that was it too before they know it this man disappeared they couldn't find him anymore i wouldn't say he disappeared but they just couldn't find him any, anymore you know <laughs> so maybe that is what happened here i don't know that's the story that they told us so hmm. let me know your thoughts in the comment section below moving on to the next one um here we have uh, a scene uh, you can see these guys lying down and they said this happened in you know this white garment churches that is normal in white garment churches and i'm like really this is normal in white garment churches like you you lie down you put a candle and fruits you know around your head and they say you meditate you know like you're communicating to with a creator or something or to beg for mercy they said it's for me mercy prayer ah hey 
Me, I don't know. Others, others thought, oh, it was ritual. You can see so the person that posted it said cash out satin. You know, more you know, they thought it was ritual. While you know, the white garment just people that goes to um the white garment church said, No, that's not true. They are just praying to God here and just so you can concentrate. Me, I go sleep, bro. Like if you put me like this, ha, me, I go sleep before you know it. Moving on to the next one. Here is um uh <laughs> let, let me just read this they said the lady details her relationship with a christian ex-boyfriend who seemed perfect till she found out he cheated and got someone else preggy well it's all it's always like that you know i think she she just didn't use her discretion irrespective of whatever you're seeing you should still be using your discretion as a person i guess she, she just felt like oh you know it's christian is devoted kind of let me just relax and that happened so she said you know he cheated on her well whatever happened in their relationship maybe we also need to hear from the other side or hear more explanation you know from the other guy but you know <laughs> sometimes things like this just sound funny when you see this She's like, hey, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to have no problems with you. I just want to let you know that I am pregnant by your boyfriend, who's also my boyfriend. I said, who's your boyfriend? She said, CJ. I said, I don't know CJ. I know Caleb. She's like, yeah, Caleb Ward. I said, Caleb Ward. Moving on to the next one here, we have Bella Shimoda. Actually, what Bella Shimoda said in Vision 2020, this song is actually is true impregnating his girlfriend you know buying lapi going to lasso all these things you know these people get inspirations from the you know their personal life what they went through i just prefer me can leave out mm. then i went to stay with my friend lati lati yeah lati so i borrowed money from lati i go and buy lapi so i also for six months i didn't get money <laughs> Stop! Which guy? Moya hola wa hola ti ago alaba aba elapi. Also for six months I no get money. So I don't know get her now. I felt God was telling me something that you. You need to focus. You need to focus on this thing you're doing. Cause no mami, even when I never buy elapi, I collect small small hundred dollar, two hundred. But when I come buy big elapi, where are the points? Nothing comes. Nothing come out. You know, then with the pain. I just get small studio session, free studio session. I just spoke my mind that you, blah, 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 blah. and if I need to dance, it enter. Which one be that one? Mm -hmm. Who you think we enter? I was like, Muya Olo Olo Ati, Agu Alaba, Agba Elapi. At the same time, with this thing they happen, Oma Tena tell me say she don't get belly. My girlfriend at that time, mm. them say don't go get belly. Oh, she get belly. Where no get ass. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you want to suffer the picnic? Oma Tena tell me say she don't get belly. So what you got for the beginning? Uh, oh. oh, 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 okay. See with stay. <laughs> okay, guys. Moving on to the next one. This is so sweet. So Idris Abdul Karim thanks his wife for donating kidney to him. I mean, speaking about pouring out your heart in the studio, this guy really went in hard. You know, <laughs> on this. Let's uh, listen. It was fear and anxiety when I was told my kidney was failing. I felt like my body had betrayed me, but I knew that I took it for granted because I wasn't going for regular checkup. Ignorance and carelessness, I messed up. Then I started thinking about my children and the thought of my beautiful love and wifey. She told me I must focus on dialysis and to seek Baba God for his mercy. She reached out to a couple of her good friends who had been through the same kidney problems. After so many different consultations, St. Nicholas Hospital was the destination. God bless Dr. Ebu Bamboya, who told us the best option was the kidney. Moving on to the next one. Here we have Chidi Mokeme. So Chidi Mokeme talks see, for Shanty Town, which is, which is a, a good movie though. You know, Shanty Town, he said that that character still day inside him, even after the movie, that he got into that character so well that the character refused to leave him. Oga, chidi mo keme, abegu, allow that character leave you. 
uh because when you leave a character is is dangerous even after the movie it's it's something that, and that's the dangerous part when you interpret it he interpreted that role so well i watched shanty town and trust me i love chidi mokeme's part and the fact that chidi mokeme is an evil guy in real life and switched to being that yoruba tout on the street you know speaking and um, pidgin english with the yoruba accent like somebody from osho d you know, you're a bad guy from Moshodi. You wouldn't know that Chidi Mokeme is actually an Igbo guy. So you really, really wore that character. You know when I mean say somebody wear character. The guy wear the character. Shout out to Chidi Mokeme on that. Like I really enjoyed this part. Ah, some of the body modifications were due to get into the scar character. I mean the first one we say, ah, now since I just come out of the old hair, just skin and face. Some days self, I know the bath. So I enter enter self, I say my body go they feel I say na street. Now we day for a street where they kill. So when you reach to dirty your body, you know the same because you're not clean before self. Sometimes you don't brush teeth. So I hear you open your teeth and they see and say, oh, this guy, this guy man be be this uh, you, know, you know even they take care of yourself, you want to take care of every body. This is not the smoke. Ah, and they do like three packets a day. So that the eye go the door where where. A cigar, they crack the whole trade like that, you know? So me and the character, we were one. And it took a while. The first car I feel covered for my body. Not the small something for here now. Me and the character, we're going to quarrel. Say, who get the body? Who get the body? Who get the... Scar, leave me. I don't finish. I don't finish. They go your own scar say, you, you don't feel finish. You, you wake me up. I like this, you here, you go day. Ah. So it took a while before I go cover myself for inside the character. But people say they leave me self. I will just they be scarred up and down the place. <laughs> you they hear the talk about the nudity and everything. You know if you talk story whole day for shanty. You know if you talk story about prostitution ring. You know if you talk story about crime. Where you know go see guns. You know go see nudity. You know, because all those things that are part of the story where you they try sell. Let me say you they try to debase anybody. Because at the end of the day, we need to begin to see human human body like say na you know na normal body not just body where God creates without every time every person in mind will go many many places. We will try to create real life situation. We will try to create near life situation. So you know it's just inevitable. Shout out to uh, Michael Blackson. Michael Blackson says this for the talented ones. I'm definitely open up a Blackson Entertainment where we will manage musicians actors so and soccer players 2023 is going to be a special year for my people that's in ghana this is going to happen in ghana i mean after building a school now this <laughs> this guy is really really helping though moving on to the next one here we have the dangote refiner built by dangote and here we have someone who gave us top seven facts about the dangote oil refinery here are the top seven facts about the just completed dangote oil refinery number one it is the largest single train oil refinery on planet earth the largest in africa and the seventh largest in the world number two it is capable of meeting the energy demands of both nigeria and the entire continent of africa number three the refinery along with the petrochemical plant is expected to generate 20 billion dollars yearly for Nigeria. Number four, the refinery will reposition Nigeria as an energy hub globally. Number five, it has the longest subsea gas pipeline in the world with a length of 1,100 kilometers. Number six, the refinery will generate electricity of about 12,000 megawatts. Number seven, it will provide 135,000 permanent jobs and overall 300,000 direct and indirect jobs. Fourth more. Guys, let me know what you think about this. I, I think they should stop defending Tinumbo on this. The bullion van. You know, the bullion van that they spotted in his house years ago. Now, it's becoming ridiculous on social media. Look at, during an interview, um, this APC guy um at your daily at the wally says those bullion vans missed their way and mistakenly went to <laughs> body lord that's to house so bullion van don't see anybody house to go 
by mistake nazi no umbu house now in the good that this should stop being ridiculous this is not even funny at all there are some companies there are some companies that have high staff that pay their staff with cash right that bullion that mixed is way there and it was not invited that should I go anybody okay uh comrade uh, William Vance have become un un unidentified moving objects or flying objects in Nigeria and sir we hope this are allowed guys um and that is where i'm going to hold it thank you so much for watching guys like this video subscribe if you're here to do so until we see you next time peace